I said five in the morning, I wake up to five for my yearnings. Fear in my mind is a warning. Pray to the one you're relying. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Kane. You guys already know the vibes. It is the Evo Eskin. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you're not new, you already know it is the Evo Eskin. I am back with another makeup tutorial. I am super excited. And today we're gonna celebrate the fact that we have reached a thousand subscribers. I just want to say a major shout out to God, to myself for the consistency, to all my subscribers, the subscribers that I've been having for the longest time, my new subscribers, my current subscribers, and my future subscribers. I, I want to thank each and every person that has um, given the time to watch my videos, to like and to comment. I really, really do appreciate the love. Um, and I'll continue giving you the content you guys are here for. And I'm super, super excited for the future and all the things that I'm gonna be showing you guys when it comes to makeup dots and skincare and as you guys could see the sun my skin everything is just photosynthesizing like a moment a, mo a moment for the skin a moment for the hair she's been here for a while now since since december but um yeah guys let's get into what i am super super excited this is the look that we're going to be doing today i looked at it and i was like yeah oh i want i want i want to do that one that's that's the, this is what i want yeah so let's get to it well i have done my eyebrows off camera as well as prepping my um eyelids for the shadow so we're going to go in with with greens and she she had like a orange liner but i'm going to use a white liner because i don't have an orange and i feel like a white liner will just will just go with it so i'm going to use i think all four of the greens right here here so this is all the greens that we're gonna be using so i'm gonna go in and start like a, a crease type of thing i thought i was recording but it was not <laughs> crazy but anyway so i've carved my lines where i'm gonna start with the first crease and then i'm gonna go in and fill in with a lighter green so i'm basically just dragging that outside to then blend it in with the lighter brown that i'm going to put now so, so right at the corner and then just spread that out this green is not really high it's not really pig highly pigmented so i have to like add a couple of layers or go in a couple of times before i get the look that i want but this green is a bit better because you can see it and it's it's a bit darker really marked the second like cut crease type of vibe so you can see with this line and that line now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do the same thing and fill in with a lighter green going outwards so to get these lines like I, I had to do it off camera because like they were very intricate and i had to look at the at the picture for me to to, to know like what kind of spacing i need to give both eyes so i'm just buffing that out on both sides this line to just be perfect but it's just fighting me like it's literally just fighting me now i'm gonna go in with a lighter green like i did before like that and then i'm gonna drag the lighter green outside the difficult part is to do the white liner and make that look very very clean i'm a bit nervous but i mean i'm nervous because i care about how it looks because i'm also just like a mini perfect and you know i'm not even a mean like i'm a, i'm a very obsessive perfectionist I, like, I do like things to look at par quality let's be giving do you know what i mean I did both eyes i had to really be intricate and focused the only thing that i the only problem that i had was trying to get the slander to like not dry up every time i was like drawing a line and also like i was a bit shaky but we're gonna sort that out with my foundation concealer and then everything's gonna come together so now i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna go in for my um foundation so i'm gonna go in with my foundation brush and then i'm 
gonna spread that and then if there's any excess i'm gonna go in with a dipping brush this side had more foundation for some reason and i'm just like oh is that what we're doing i kind of always forget my nose because I, I don't know like i just like do i do i go there do i need to go there like what's happening so i'm gonna go in with the dipping brush just to get a more seamless and blended look this side didn't need more makeup so I didn't actually put foundation under my eyes because I'm going with concealer so I don't want that to mix and also just there's no need for us to have foundation under our eyes like too much that's why concealer that's 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 placement for concealer you get on I mean so so we're gonna now do our placement for our concealer so today it's a bit different we don't want it to mess our white lines so we're not gonna go in too much on the inner and then here we do want a That's exactly what we're going for. Snatched clean eye look. And just a top bridge. So we're gonna blend towards the nose and downwards and then with the outer concealer line. Actually here because you do want a clean line. Concealer can sit and not too much, so a matte control. And for my lips, I'm gonna do a brown line as usual. 